Hello, Eddies. It is time for your mid July to August readings on this current year. Congratulations, you're not dead yet. Good deal. Hope y'all are doing just dandy right now. I'm doing all right. I'm off today. Doing all sorts of other things. Hmm. Got some shit on your mind. Feeling a little bit like, uh. Everyone's going through that. Welcome to the retrogrades. No one's going to have a fun time. I promise. Let's see the first card for you. Five of Pentacles. You're feeling left out in the cold. You want to come back in, but you're still kind of roaming the streets, it feels like. And you want to take action to move. I always like to consider that your card, because that's just the card of going. Might even be booty. Beware of booty. Booty is not always safe, man. That's booty card man. Or booty man card. Booty card man. What the fuck? Ah, uh, looking for a victory with the six of wands. Because you ain't feeling like yourself or you feel like you're trying to strive for a dream you can't achieve with the nine of pentacles. Uh... Seven of Cups right here. You're trying to find ways of filling voids. You want to take action when it deals with, like, you feeling like you need to take action and because you don't feel like you're welcome somewhere or you feel like an outsider or some shit. Um, but there might be some bad judgment calls or something just not coming back as before. What is the vibration for you? Waiting for something to happen that feels like it's just not, like, stagnation. It's like you're waiting for a message to come in. I'll lay that right there. That's your overall. Magician reverse at the bottom of this one. Are you feeling like you can't create or cause things to happen? Like your manifestor is broken? Manifester, manifester, where are you? There's a lot of shit I have to get to do, you know? Like, yeah. It's like you got the energy to get something done. Like, this woman is facing over towards all of this shit, but it's like... The message is towards the future, not the past. Let's see. This person feels left out in the cold because there were things that happened. That they're now trying to fill this void with. The 7 plus 3 would be 10. Because in the past, what they really have their hearts in are, is just empty now. Might have a Queen of Cups of all, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Looking over everything, holding in their feelings. Um, probably not very good with demonstrating them, though. Kind of like a failure or an idiot. Page of Pentacles. I feel like they kind of got a bratty attitude about things. <laughs> Something about a brat. Like, something that they're demonstrating is definitely not of uh, high value. In fact, it's probably not valuable at all. It's probably just a waste of time. Whatever it is they give you. It's like they hold something back, and whatever they give is just, like, not even best, e not even effort involved. King of Wands, this could be you, you're wanting to go, and you're talking shit as you are walking out of the door, like turning around as you're walking. Um, yeah, saying nasty things about um, a relationship that wasn't very good. Hmm. I feel like you have nothing to say good about this relationship. It's like you had to go against a bunch of people to get them to leave you alone. Like just all sorts of stuff of the mind, right? Let's see, this... Six of Wands, right? Victory. This is in the thoughts and feelings room, right? This is 
It's coming out. This is what it stems from. Wanting to be victorious, because, you know, insecurities, things that you thought were solid, became a little bit too faulty here. And that's why you got this feeling like you can't manifest anything. That was at the bottom when we started. And you're just looking at all these things that you want to invest in. You know. I'm not sure if you know which ones you want to invest in more. Then we got the Nine of Pentacles down here. Okay. So, like... This is kind of like... The Nine of Pentacles is kind of like a... Someone dreaming of being, like, fancy bougie and stuff like that but it's like they know they can't accomplish that so it gives them a sense of like you know i want more for myself not in a greedy way but more in like just how to form your own identity there's a lot of unfairness going on it's like whoever had the red in their pocket like they got the bad judgment ew I think you're looking at that <laughs> like grumpy old mr emperor just sitting there grumbling under his breath um staring over at this bad judgment call like motherfucker how dare you bring that shit up to me <laughs> yeah you're just wanting to ride away to your happiness probably dealing with a leo maybe or maybe you just want to ride a horse naked Probably because you've never done that before. You know. Wanting to take the time to be a little bit selfish for yourself. I feel like you guys have just been dealing with, um... Uh, it's kind of like Libra, but not as bad. Libra's always gotten people, like, on their shit and stuff. You guys just seem like you're tired of dealing with people and having to put up a fight. Let's see. Seven of Cups. This is where you're trying to fill the void, I feel. Like. Invest in something to make you feel like you're alive again. Sexy man. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to build something or work on something. Something towards this victory over here. Uh, you're kind of looking for a reason to stick around in a situation where um, the cups were spilled over, someone's holding some shit back, and like they offer very, very minimal. Uh, you kind of have to make a choice here. Because apparently you can't have both. You have to choose between this victory... And feeling left out in the cold, like... It's like the further you go into, like, developing whatever it is you're trying to develop, the more you, it becomes clear you have to make this choice. Whether you want to or not. Okay. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Mind you, everybody's on the board, I just haven't been calling it out. Um, so it really don't matter. But... He's galloping towards this scenario like he's got something to say, something to fight for. Even though you're tired of fighting. Um... Probably with an Aquarius, but like, there's no real communication. Like, you ever seen those two, like, wild, like, bobcats or lynxes or whatever they are when they approached each other? And, like, they started just rubbing their heads and going, Brrrr! Like, if you've ever seen that video, if you haven't, go look it up. It's like two lynx encounter each other. It sounds like two teenage girls yelling bro at each other. But it's, like, really... It's creepy sounding because it's almost human, but not really, but it's like kind of like that. You guys just kind of keep putting your heads together and yelling bro at each other. Like a South Park episode. <laughs> like there's no real communication between the two of you. Like, it, it, like you just stay in happy 
and that makes you want to leave. But you're sticking around to almost be a martyr of sorts, or just wasting your time, like, it's well past, you know? Are you? Okay. That was my baby. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. Oh, uh, you, you deal with the Leo, but also it could be you, and you might just be slightly pissed, just slightly angry, just just enough to where like you might break some shit or people's necks. One of the two. You figure out your desire for whatever, but it's like, like the, it's like the, it's not even a lack of communication. It's just a lack of trying to communicate. It's like neither one has a side they want to see, and it's making you go into total dick mode and just be like, you know, I'm gonna be a bigger dick. I'm gonna show you who has the bigger dick in this relationship. That's what's going to happen. Look at me. I'm using this to knock all the shit off your fucking table. <laughs> like you're you're kind of going into that where you're becoming a little bit too aggressive with your dominance. I should say. You want to overrule what you what it is that you can control because you can't control this one aspect, and that's how these people communicate with you or how are you communicating with them. That's what's got this judgment call. Oh dear. <laughs> is that why the emperor is looking like all nettled at the wrong judgment? What's the wrong judgment? We have judgment up here and it's like... Mm. Are you sticking around with something out of stubbornness? Like, knowing that whatever is going on is... Mm. What's this wrong judgment called in Aries? Sticking around, not waiting for something, not waiting around to offer your cup. Okay, so then I... Oh, wait. Okay, Aries, hold up a second. Alright, let me... It's like you're dealing with somebody who you feel like is emotionally unavailable. And it's like a constant, like, game. It could be a Capricorn, also a Taurus or Virgo. But it's like you're dealing with somebody you, you, you want to talk shit about, right? You feel like there's a lot of stuff that's unfair. You're looking at this bad judgment call and you really don't like it because you know the right thing to do is just to stick around because if you don't wait almost, it's like something's gonna separate. You and another person could be marriage. Also Gemini. Like you're trying to find ways of filling yourself up. But it's almost like the person you're dealing with, like, you know that there's more there, but they're not giving you enough. And that's, like, getting on your fucking nerves. But you're being stubborn and sticking around, just being like, I know this is the right fucking thing to do, damn it. You know? But there's almost a sense where you feel like you're, um, doing the wrong thing. And it's almost like it's, it's backwards. Like, you're... What you think is the right thing is based kind of on ego, whereas if it was in your was highest power, you're looking over at this bad judgment call, like, you're nettled by it, that it even is an option. Not because it exists, but because you're looking at it. Like, this is the wrong thing to do, but God damn it, would this make me fucking happy. We just not even bothering to give this cup out, leaving and separating would make me a little bit more happier than having to take my time and be um, responsible with shit that I don't want to be responsible with anymore. That's kind of what that feels like, Aries. But that's your reading. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this, just like, share, and subscribe if you wish. No pressure. Um, 
I won't be doing personal readings until after the 10. I'm also setting up something new with that too. So um, keep an eye out for like a tarot spread video I'm going to do. It's going to be educational. It's going to be fun. It's probably going to bore the shit out of a lot of people, but that's okay. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.